sectors. Let's go back to our breaking news story now because a Malaysian Boeing airplane has reportedly crashed in Ukraine's east where the military is battling against local self-defence units. Now apparently the aircraft was travelling from Amsterdam and disappeared from radar 60 kilometres away from the Russian border. All 280 passengers and 15 crew members are presumed at this point to be dead and that is according to Ukraine's security services. Let's get more on this story now and uh, cross light to our correspondent Ira Galushka who's near the Ukraine-Russia border. Ira, if you can hear me okay, just bring us up to date. What's the latest? All right, well, at this point, uh, we are hearing that the uh, plane was uh, went off the radar, um, pres presumably at the, at the time of the presumed crash. Um, now, the uh, officials from the Donetsk People's Republic are said the, the Kiev forces are saying that they have absolutely nothing to do with this. At the same time, there was information coming in from um, Malaysian air officials who have uh, said at one point that they have no information on or any of their planes missing. And now again, this was a Boeing 777, one of the largest planes out there. It was traveling from Amsterdam. It did crash, uh, did, does seem to crash in the Donetsk region. There have been some reports from eyewitnesses who are saying that they have seen the debris from uh, the crashed plane, and they reportedly have also uh, seen some of the bodies of the passengers. But of course, at this point, we cannot confirm any of that information uh, with any certainty as we continue to look into this developing story. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Ira, who's on the ground there near the border of Ukraine and Russia. And I can actually add a few details now because it is coming in minute by minute and it isn't looking particularly good. Malaysian Airlines, I can tell you, they have uh, confirmed now that they have indeed lost contact with one of their planes. Um, other information, Ukrainian sources quoting that, as we already understand, 280 people were on board that plane, uh, 15 crew members as well. And uh, self-defence forces in east of Ukraine, they are denying any involvement whatsoever in a possible crash.